Hello, welcome. This is an in-depth tutorial course on automation testing using Cypress. Now, I will quickly take us through what we'll be testing. And uh, we're going to use demoqa.com for our automation testing. We're going to look at first is uh, we're going to look at test bus, how we can actually automate something like this in real life scenario. We're going to do this with automation using Cypress. And uh, this is check after we finish the first one, we're going to look at the check bus, also do the automation, carry out automation, radio button. We're going to learn how you can automate your radio button, you know, using Cypress. And then we'll look at tables. Um, with this, we're going to automate this. We'll add, fill this form, and then submit. And we can we'll also edit using Cypress. You know, we're going to carry out all this automation and all that. Um, this is uh, here. We're going to do a lot of assertions here. If you look at this, this say double click, double click me. I'm going to double click me, you see. So we're going to assert when we when we double click, we're going to assert carry out a section to make sure that the test we get is actually what we should be getting. Here say right click me. When we right click, we, this comes out. So we're going to carry out all this um, testing. And then here form, we're going to look at creation of form here. This also will go through at the end of the, the course, you know, you will be able to automate any form that comes your way and then we're going to do something here look at here you see slide we're still going to look at this progress bar we're going to carry out do all this automation too and uh, menu look at this menu all of this we're going to automate all of this this is going to really be an in-depth course at the end of the day and apart from what we are seeing on this course i will still going to take you through a a um another website maybe through I'm going to take us through an e-commerce site where we'll automate a, um, a website that is e-commerce. Actually, 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 this course is going to be a real in-depth. So I will join that you subscribe because the course will be coming in bits, you know, so that when it comes, you'll be the first to know. And uh, seriously, there are a lot you are going to benefit from this course. When this course is over, you'll be able to hit your hand on your chest and say, wow, I am a confirmed Cypress automation tester now what we're going to go through i haven't gone that i'm going to take you through the the tools that we need the first we're going to use is node because of course cypress is a javascript is worked is working with the dom and a, a javascript so we must have node we're going to have node.js now second is git i'm going to download this and then we're going to use a uh, visual studio code so these are the tools that we'll be using. We'll need to download them now. So first and foremost, let me just take us around how we will download this. So the first is Node. You just look at Node.js download, and then uh, you click on this. You can see the website Node.js.org. Now I already have this installed in my system, so I'm, you are not, I'm not going to click this. Once you click it, it's from Window. You click this, it will start downloading immediately. And then once it's done downloading, the installation is very simple. All you just need to do is to click next, 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 and follow the default installation procedures. It's installed in your system. And if you are using Mac, you can use install this. Now, once that is done, the next we are going to look at Git. Git download. Hit on Git download. And look at the website git-scm.com, which is this one. And once you come here, all you have to do is from Windows, if you are using Mac, you click on this from Windows. And now if you are using Windows, you click here. And then you click on, click here to download. Once you click on this place now, it's going to take you, it will start downloading. But I don't want to download, so I'm going to end this. I'm just going to um, delete it and uh, clear it. So I already have it. And just as here, once you are done downloading, just click install and just follow the default procedure click next 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 and you are done and then the last but not the least is vs code vs code download now you can see the website here you know code.visualstudio.com so once you click it from windows you click here i'm not going to click it because i already have it you can see it here already so i already have it so once you click here to start downloading for Mac, if you have this, if you have Mac, you can click here. And just as you've done with others, follow the default installation. They are not difficult, so I felt there's no need for me to start teaching you how to install because they are not difficult. Just keep clicking next until it's done. That's all. So 
who haven't installed them, I want to believe that you've installed them, we can now continue from there. So now that you have installed, finished carrying the installation, all I just want you to do first is to click, is to, is to get a folder and a, a new folder that we'll be working with. I'll name this folder now, Cypress Test. So this is an empty folder I just created. So, and the, this is the test folder we'll be working with. So what I want you to do is right click and uh, I'm using Windows 11. So if you are using Windows 11 with me, you just click show more option. If you are using Windows 10, this option will come up automatically. So you click on git bash. Just click on git bash. And uh, you have just type in code space dot. This will open automatically open this on your on your Visual Studio code and then press enter. So you can see that we're already on Visual Studio code with with that folder opening here. You can see it Cypress test. So we'll close this now. Now we're going to do some things here. I will open the terminal. You don't need to follow me. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is to um, get our working, get our, our folder ready for the work. And because we are using a um, Cypress, all we don't need to do is to, of course, we have to use NPM for all that we do here. So first and foremost, I will use NPM in it. So as you can see here, it's asking us our um, package name. Of course, we want to get our packet package.json. So you can just click enter. Version, you can just keep clicking enter. Or we just need to get, just keep clicking enter. Keyword enter, auto enter. Now it's asking you, are you okay with everything? So yes, just type in yes. Okay, enter. And here we go. We've gotten our package.json. Now this is our package.json. Now, Fine, we've got in this package.json. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to get our Cypress. And for us to get the Cypress, of course, we have to use npm install Cypress for us to get the Cypress. Of course, because we need the node module for us to work with Cypress. Without the node module, we're not going to do anything. So, all we just need to do is to type in here npm i for install, then hyphen save hyphen dev space cypress now i want us to work with with version 9.70.0 this is the most stable version the new 10 release version is still having some inches here and there so please just use this version and because i want us to use this version that is why i'm using this at 9.70 now you click enter it's going to start inst installing depending on the how fast your system is it, it takes some few minutes of course, this is window to install. And let's just uh, wait some seconds and minutes for it to install. Okay, now it has finished installing and you can see our node module is already here. All that we need, all the dependencies that we need, unlike Selenium, where you have to, you know, go get all your dependencies, you know, here, all the dependencies have been given to us by Cypress. So now that the Cypress has been installed, all we now need to do is to actually bring it to life to see what, how it's going to look like. And for that to happen, look at our package.json. You know, here, what you have to do just let me close it. Now come to your package.json. Delete this. We don't need this. Just follow me. And then you enter, type in Cypress open and save. So what that means is that once I run this test here, my test is my Cypress is going to open. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll just say npm run test. I want to, I'm running this test here, and that will automatically trigger my Cypress to open. Now, once I click enter, you're going to see that Cypress is going to build automatically here.
now you can see it's opening good look at it now a new folder has just been opened here a new folder has just been opened here now in this folder you see different subfolders for the future we have integration plugins and support you know we're going to look at as we're working along the line we'll be explaining all of this now all our code is actually going to be on this integration and you can see they came up with uh, some example and uh, we're just going to run one of them let's see how it, how it looks like so on these examples that actually came with cypress i would like us to run this action of you know and see how fast cypress can be so you can see it's already coming up It's already automating the website you can see how fast it is wow the automation is complete so once it's done you can just come here and stop stop the automation you know so what we'll do now is actually we don't need all of this so we are going to just delete it because we'll be carrying out our own automation so you just delete it now this second one i might just want to leave this action but i'll delete the remaining ones so for me to do that i'll first of all click on this and then hold your shift button down and click on the last it's going to highlight all of this from the second to the last and then right click or you just hit your delete button on the, on the keyboard Move to recycle bin. Fine. So you can see we are now left with only action aspect of JS. Now the last thing here is um, I'm going to rename this to just example. Rename. To just examples. Good. Enter. So everything has now been done. Now we're not going to be working with this. This is just the example that came with the Cypress. We'll be working with our own. So We'll start our own but all that we'll be doing will be on this integration folder now the good thing about cypress is everything i'm doing here is automatically taking effect now let's look at it you see all that i've deleted has automatically taken effect that is the beauty of cypress so in our next we'll, next class now we'll start you know automating our own um, automation testing i will enjoy you to subscribe to this channel because this is really really in-depth cypress automation testing and at the end of the day you are going to enjoy it so please subscribe and wait for the next class thank you